What's your minimum specification? Would you believe it? Intel has made a video game. Now, we're not talking AAA titles that cost hundreds of million dollars. We're talking about small HTML5 flash nonsense. And I'm going to play it here for you now. I've got my Intel Performance for the Real World t-shirt on. And so let's see how Intel has decided to spend its marketing money. So I've got my headphones on and away we go. So this is the game. The game is called Bfloat 16, an Intel deep learning boost adventure. It's so, so exciting. Um, it looks like a 3D isometric, isometric shooter. I don't know. Let's see, let's listen to the music. It's not bad. Let's turn that down a little bit. So we're not overwhelmed. And let's see. So. Ooh, B float 16 and floating point 32. Uh, so if you don't know what these things are, this is ways of representing numbers. And when you're doing AI calculations, um, the fewer number of bits per mathematical operation, assuming the hardware can support it, the faster you can go. So most AI training calculations used to be floating point 32 uh, because you, you end up getting the full range of accuracy and you know that goes for a certain speed. With bfloat 16 the idea is that you get essentially the same level of accuracy but in half the bits. It's a, not a standard way of representing a floating point number. So this is a number is like, you know, 3.26, whatever. Um, it's not a way that's naturally supported on most processors, um, but with uh, Intel's uh, Cooper Lake Xeon processors, their third gen Xeons, they can support Bfloat 16 natively. And this is what this game is, you know, trying to promote. Um, so the way these numbers are represented is in terms of exponents and mantises. So it's so it's like a multiplication factor times two to the power something. And uh, unfortunately here there seems to be a bit of an error because as far as I'm aware, bfloat 16 and floating point 32 are meant to have the same size exponent. I mean they have in the colours, but just not by these um, barriers. Anyway, and this link no doubt takes you to some website. So here we go, let's start the game. So do I want to be an ace truncator or flow dynamic? Select your data scientist. Let's be ace truncator, because that's first. Report to Professor Spellman. Welcome to the data processing team, Ace. Excited to be here, Professor Spellman. Now where's my cubicle? I should point out that uh, Spellman here, this is Lisa Spellman. She is the general manager and vice president of uh, Xeon and memory group XMG at Intel. No time for that. You've already been assigned to a squad and using Intel Deep Learning Boost Enhanced with Bflow 16. Suit up and report for duty. Eek. I mean... Let's do this. Wait, how did you change outfits so fast? Great. This is compelling stuff, Intel. Your mission is to collect the data needed to power our third gen Intel Xeon scalable processors. Sounds easy enough. I was the best pilot in my class. I'll be done in no time. Right. Not so fast. This area is full of training and inference workloads. Mm. DL Boost Squadron is equipped with the latest BF 16 Radix cannon technology, and this will be the perfect test. B Float 16? That's half the bits I'm used to collecting. It's fewer bits, but these third gen reactors can use DL Boost and BF16 to boost AI workload performance up to 1.93x compared to the second gen reactors. What if we lose accuracy with less bits? That's the beauty of Bfloat 16. We get the same range of values with no noticeable loss in accuracy. Well, at least they're accurate. Great, so how do I get BF16 data? You can use those BF16 Radix cannons to optimize the workloads before they get processed. So, shoot the things okay this this script is weird this is definitely a script from marketing 
don't worry if you miss some, you just won't get the full performance boost for, for optimizing for BF16. But if you're as good as you claim to be, then you won't give up that extra performance boost. Did I mention that you have less than one minute? Good luck. Okay, so let's go with A and D and left click. With a little Intel Xeon scalable inside my stealth fighter thing. I mean, you can definitely tell that this game is built to a small budget, I guess. Let's see. Training workloads, get ready. Ah. One down. My workload on the left is going up, I guess. Let's shoot more. Let's see if I can get B flow 8. No, that's not a thing. Uh, it's wave 1. Now for inferencing workloads. Keep shooting. What does this data intake thing mean at the bottom? Is that just where the data goes? I have no idea. Ten seconds left. Nine. Eight. Ah, oh, oh, missed it. Man, I suck. Ah, optimization's complete. Ooh. Welcome back, Ace. Let's see how you did. Okay. That was amazing. You really are as good as you claimed. You and BF16 gave us great performance boost without sacrificing accuracy. I can't take all the credit. BF16 makes it easy. Wait, what? So, up for, are you up for the challenge again? Um, let's see if selecting flow dynamic has a difference this time. Welcome to the data processing team, Flow. Excited to be here, Professor Spellman. Now, where's my cubicle? Um, is this going to be the same text? Yes, this is. Now, spot where you can see where marketing is involved in this. How did you change outfits so fast? Because this is a cartoon. It, I don't know what to say. Uh, I mean, it's it. I only guess that they've gone ahead and given like a small flash HTML gaming team like I don't know, fifteen grand and a couple of weeks to put this together. And, you know, with some fancy images and uh, the music's all right at least. I mean, it fits definitely fits. What's going on? What happens if I don't collect anything this time? Maybe I'll just completely fail and see what it says. <laughs> you should have used second gen Xeon! Let's go! Let me hide in the corner! Let's shoot the timer! Now my workloads are getting red and blues added. And performance is staying the same, it's not going down, at the top, score 1.0x, max 1.9x, Intel deep learning boost. The Intel's had multiple generations of deep learning boost, um, it's just that, like I said, third gen Xeon Cooper Lake has this Bfloat 16 support, which Ice Lake won't have, but Sapphire Rapids will. And Intel's argument is that uh, Cooper Lake was for customers who wanted four sockets or more. So they're big customers who do lots of training workloads. I mean, Bfloat 16 isn't really used in um, inference that lot, it's primarily training. I mean, deep learning boost is more than just Bfloat 16, let's just make it clear. It's a lot of other software optimizations and libraries on top of that. Let's see how you did. You sucked. So much for optimizing those workloads. It's a good thing we can still handle FP32 data. Next time, try shooting at the workloads.
I'm sure there are plenty of people who want to blow their workloads up. What was I supposed to do again? So, are you up for the challenge again? Um, no. And that's Intel's foray into gaming. I mean, could do with a better script. Gameplay was simple. It's 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 promotional tool, right? Um, they didn't actually send this one to press. I actually found it on the Intel website, and you can play it in. I'll put a link below. What can I say? Um, Intel has plenty of things it can spend its marketing money on, and this time round, they went with a video game. I mean, it's a good idea for Intel to bring you know their personalities within the teams um, forward in 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 these sorts of things. Um, Lisa Spellman, she's uh, GM and uh, VP, EVP, I think, of the Xeon memory group. Um, she's there whenever we get, you know, Xeon briefings and Optane memory briefings. Uh, you know, so she's the right person to promote in this sort of thing. Um, you just got to wonder what else Intel can spend its marketing dollars on. Um, this is quick and simple, and this isn't something they handed to the press. This is something that was just placed on their website. Um, and I found it purely by chance of going through the Xeon pages on the website, which might not be something that press traditionally do when they're just handed bulk materials when a product is released. Um, but this exists. It is what it is. Um, if you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, positive comments down below, negative comments down below. Uh, what sort of game do you think Intel should have made? Um, and what do you think it can do for the future you know, generations of product? What could Intel make in a couple of weeks that's better than this? Put your comments and your thoughts down below. And don't forget, what's your minimum specification?